Sally, welcome to the program. It's always uh, great to catch up with the Tararua region. And uh, what, what are current conditions like? Yeah, it's pretty um, greasy on farm. So, um, yeah, there's been a lot of uh, continual drizzle probably for the last week. But, um, yep, uh, we're starting at Rural Support Trust are reporting that they're getting about a 50% increase in calls for this time of the year. So people are starting to feel under a bit of pressure. Is there still a lot of recovery going on? I know you weren't the hardest hit area, but nonetheless, the pockets of it around the region no doubt got hit. Yeah, interestingly enough, we've probably got about the third of land um, affected compared to the Hawke's Bay, say. Um, so it's, it's still a big area that's been impacted. Yeah. And um, we've had 50 farmers so far um, reach out for support through a collaborative approach. Um, and, and we've got, uh, we want to get the message out to farmers that we've still got um, farming army um, volunteers and that prepared to come and help. So don't be shy, you know, um, give us a ring and uh, we'll, we'll match you up. Um, Simon mm -hmm. Howes is, is the coordinator for that. Um, he's a local farmer at Weaver. So, um, yeah, he's, he's got a list of people and they're ready to come onto farm um, as needed. So And that's specifically for your area, because I know a lot of your farmers have probably felt, oh, look, all the, the worst of it is in Hawke's Bay and we don't want to bother anyone, we'll just sort of get on with it. Yeah, yeah, well, so we're, we're encouraging them now if they, you know, like, because people, you know, it's getting wet and uh, if you haven't got your fences up and that and you just need an extra set of hands for a day or two, give a yell, you know, um, we, we, we can't help if, if, if we don't know. Um, as I say, Simon's, you know, got that coordination role. Um, Jane's got the RST role. So, you know, like between them, we want to make sure that everyone's covered um, and knows that the support there. Um, I think I think one thing that's really cool at the moment is you're starting to see some new initiatives, you know, like Pongaroa Squash Club is having a, a road challenge. So they've got you know, a little team from each each of the roads around there and they're um, coming together for a game. Um, and, I, and I think people will need to do that. Get off the farm in some way, you know. What about the prospects for winter? I know, well, some say it's the first day of winter today. Um, moving day as well, goodness knows. But um, how's it looking for winter? Yeah, well, so we've had um, really good uh, growth rates here. So, um, you know, like we haven't got the drought of pre previous mm. years and... and Although it's been wet, we've had um, good growth right through, um, and I think it's still growing, you know, in our example, say 16, 17 a day, which is, is, is good for us at this time of the year. Yeah. Um, yeah. So people have got more cover than normal, you know, like, yes, there'll be some that have got the um, slip damage and things like that. But, you know, like, there is good feed there, um, so... It's it, it's not as bad as it could have been in that sense. And are the livestock able to get to it? It's not too rough, you know, and, and slippery and, and muddy. <laughs> yeah. So um, there, there is one one pocket of uh, ten or eleven farms that were still uh, waiting to get good truck access established. So um, uh, but that's you know like most of them I th I, I haven't touched base in the last week, but you know like they they are starting to be able to come out other people's places and things like that. And, um, yeah, and, and I, you know, one of the big stations had got um, the cattle weaned last week, I think it was, or the week before. So, you know, that was a big positive to have been able to round them up enough and, and, and move them out. Now, you've been involved uh, this week in a, in a, in a governance what, course, was it? Learning uh, about the about governance and, and committee, etc.? Yeah, it, it, and it was brilliant. I mean, it's called To the Core, and it's um, been initiated by um, Farmlands, Silverfern Farms and LIC. So, you know, basically a cooperative um, initiative. Mm. In, in 24... Um, and I think this is the sixth uh, group that's gone through. So basically 150 people have been trained up um, in, in governance. And it's really positive to see the um, energy and the diversity within the group that hopefully will come through into um, into those ag boards in time. You yeah. know, um, it's, it, it's not a gender-related thing or a... a um, you know, it's nothing against the white male, don't get me wrong, but it, it, um, it's more the diversity in thought. You know, yeah. like um, now you go to a lot of boards and you can actually have a discussion rather than 
this is the minutes, this is what we've got to do, you know, and, mm. and you start getting more strategic about the approach going forward. So it gives you hope for the future that there are a lot of good people coming through? Very much so, you know, like, and in, in, in the energy, these, um, you know, like, I'd, I'd say younger ones because they are the next generation or two down from where I am, but, um, yeah, look, it, it was really encouraging, you know, like, if you could if you could harness them into something like your local district council or your regional council, I think we'd get a far more um collaborative approach to moving forward. Um yeah, like I think the the district council the average age is um sixty two across the country at the moment for for those positions. And it's sort of like it would be good if we could move that dial a bit. 